you need to switch into cybersecurity right now. Don't wait. If you're new to the channel, my name is John Good, and here on this channel, we talk all about cybersecurity. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and check out all the other videos. So recently I got a comment that actually comes up quite a bit, so I thought I'd address it. So first let's look at the comment. So the comment says, I'm looking at changing careers into IT, cybersecurity in two years. My current job unrelated to IT is paying for me to go to school, so I'm finishing up a computer science bachelor's. Do you think that it would be wise to go and obtain their certifications in the timeline that you mentioned? Thanks for the video, by the way, it was great insight. The comment, especially at the beginning, really hits at the heart of what's known as imposter syndrome in the industry. Basically, it's the idea that you question your own ability or knowledge to get a job or do the job, or even just to get into the industry in the first place. I've heard so many people say that, well, when I get this certification, or if I learn this skill, then I'll finally be ready. If you have that mindset, you're gonna always be chasing that never ending goal and you're never gonna be ready. Whenever I get somebody new to mentoring or the community and we start talking about applying to jobs and when it's right to start, my answer is always the same. You should be building your skills and your knowledge all the time and then applying to jobs during that time. Don't wait. I go as far as telling people to apply to anything that lists up to two years of experience. So that could be two plus years, zero to two years. It really doesn't matter because those roles are basically the same. They're considered entry level jobs. Granted, some of these companies aren't gonna call you back for an interview, but what's the worst case? You're gonna get a rejection email, so just do it. One of the things that you're gonna learn in this industry as you get experience is nobody knows everything. And your ability to learn things on the fly and as you go goes hand in hand with your ability to increase in an organization and get higher pay. I understand why people feel some of the imposter syndrome because frankly, it happens at all levels and in different jobs because it's hard to compare yourself directly with another person that has different experiences and different jobs that they've had. It's just very difficult. I think that platforms like Try Hack Me are great because they provide an actual ranking system against other people and they give you some of that assurance that you're learning the correct stuff and that you're progressing. Certifications are also another great way to get that assurance because you're getting an actual achievement Regardless of what trolls say, certifications are great too. Like I always say too, if you've heard me, you should document anything that you learn. So with a blog, a vlog, or anything like that, because that just shows what you're learning and it helps reinforce that in your own mind. I hope this pep talk gives you some encouragement in your journey, whether you're at the beginning, the middle, or near the end, because ultimately your biggest weakness is gonna be self-doubt. So let's crush it and not wait for that distant milestone to start your journey in cybersecurity. If you know anybody that needs this video and this pep talk, make sure to share this video with them. And also make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.